What is going on everyone, this is Rossi, welcome to my another bronze video that I've made for you guys, you know you guys gave me a lot of support in the last video which was only yesterday of the MLS bronze squad, um, so you know I'm bringing this, you know I made this video today and yesterday it took quite a while as you can tell it will take quite a while to make these videos, as you know they're 8 minutes long as well so it'll take quite long to render and stuff so um, if we can get the same support on this video guys that would be absolutely fantastic maybe like just leave a like and a comment or something like that you know that's what really makes me happy and um, it motivates me to do more and more videos basically guys that's why I've made a video the straight day after um, usually I'd wait a couple of days so I'm going to go into my uh, little explanation of what I'm doing I'm making a bronze English squad um, not Pacific League so not Empower League 1 or Championship or anything like that because um, obviously you can see I've got um, well, I'm going for a Leeds player right now which is Championship and I've already signed Taylor which is Empower League 2 I believe and I've already signed Western which is League 1 so you know it's all different leagues but English that's what makes the chemi chemistry go up is making them sure making sure they're all English and that is exactly what I'm doing so signed a couple of players already the left mid, the right mid, the left back and the right back um, so doing exactly the same for what I did for the MLS squad Going, starting outwards and going inwards. So picking out my centre backs right now. I've got a guy called Pierce, I believe. Um, I, now I was quite surprised by these two centre backs. They're actually, you know, just absolutely units. Because if you look at their pace and look at this guy's pace, centre mid ninety pace. Um, that is absolutely fantastic. That's exactly what I would like in my midfield. So I went for a guy with ninety pace. So um, just to get a bit of more oomph, really, if that's really a word, into my midfield. And then I went and bought Harper. Just for a bit of passing, a bit of dribbling, and still a little, quite a bit of pace. 75 is not too bad, not too bad. Then I went about a West Car. Um, West Car, I've played, come across loads of times in games. Um, you know, he's just such. I can't even put him into a category of anything in the world. Um, he's not as good as a Juro. I will say that now. A Juro is. Oh my god, he's just a sexual predator. And. I just can't, I just love a Juro, I just love him, I don't know why, um, if you've seen him in real life, he's got quite a funny shaped head, but it doesn't matter, because that's, you know, that's what makes him good head in, I guess, um, sort of like an egg shaped head, but it doesn't matter, because, you know, it's all it's all good to have an egg head, so I'm going to go into a little bit of explanation of what I would like in my team, now, as you can see guys, it is finished right now, it's a brilliant, brilliant squad, absolutely love it the bits um, no bronze squads for me make it so fun i just can't describe how much fun i have with this team but what i'd like to do ideally um i come up with a little thing i haven't actually checked that out but i'd like to put a duo on his own up top um in center attacking mid or center forward i'd like to put a um bronze english guy but plays in the mls i can't remember his name but i did find him and he did look actually quite decent to be fair so um i think that would work because the chemistry would pretty much say this well stay the same because um, obviously, well, I might actually go up because my read is not actually in the right formation or the right really position. So if I could find a centre forward uh, English guy in MLS, that would make it perfect because then I could have a duo up top and a duo wouldn't affect any of the chemistry down below because he only links to the centre forward. Um, that was a little boring kind of explanation, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So as you, as I always do, I go into a bronze tournament now, online bronze tournament. Um, now I'm going to explain to you guys quickly what happened in the first tournament. You might see, you might see, I lost the game um, beforehand. Basically, I bit a guy 11-1, and the highlights not in this because it's not the right tournament. Um, this one I went on, but 11-1 um, I won, so I went into the second game and it froze in the arena. So I, I was just stood there, I dashboarded it, and I came on ultimate team, and it gave me the loss. And I was quite disappointed about that because. Um, Literally, I knew I wouldn't be able to put the 11-1 gameplay in because it'd just be irrelevant then. Um, you could call it like a warm-up game, I suppose. <coughs> I think I've got, <coughs> got like a chicken in my throat again. <clears> throat> oh, I said that. I had that last commentary um, I did for my bronze squad. It was just like a little chicken or something. I'm not sure what it was, but I hope it's gone now. So, yeah, so I scored a goal here in the third minute in my first game with this lovely, lovely bronze team of mine. Now, if I had to compare the two teams... I'm not actually sure which one I'd, you know, um, hang on a minute, video makers who make commentaries, leave a comment now if, you know, when you're doing a commentary, someone is upstairs or walks in on you doing a commentary, and it's quite, it's, you know, it's quite awkward, it's not really, like, bad, but it's quite awkward in a way, um, I just had that right now, that's why I was, like, stuttering and being, like, um, 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 kind of thing, but it doesn't matter anyway, gonna get cracked on with this, um, so if I had to pick a favourite one out of my MLS or this one, um, 
Um, I wouldn't actually know what to do. I'd like to mix him up, like I said, about with the Giro and stuff, because I love having like Taylor on the wing, so he's four-star skill and stuff as well. You know, that is so fun to play with. And I know there's another guy called Bradshaw, who's a four-star skill centre mid, I believe, so I might look at buying him very shortly. I think that would be a brilliant signing for me. And uh, look at the scoreline, it's 4-4. I'm not showing the goals that I conceded, guys, because I'm showing you how sexy my squad is. Um, that is a brilliant goal. Oh, my God, I was so happy when I scored this goal. Look at this goal. Westcott, oh my god, he's amazing. He's not that, well, yeah, he's, nah, fair play to him, he's decent. Look at this goal. This is so dirty. Uh, you just think he's going to just pop it in there, but he just chips it over the keeper as he dives across him. That is absolutely fantastic, and he gets four goals in that game. Um, you know, four goals for any guy in a game is absolutely amazing. So, as you can see, guys, that is my complete team, but I go into another game straight away, and I make this guy rage quit. Now, I love making people rage quit sort of when I know I've got the win I'm going to go through the tournament I love making them rage quit because you know it makes a game only 20 minutes long and you get the win and you go through to the next stage of the tournament which is brilliant so I put through on goal here again I could score a sweaty goal but I don't I just smash it in the back of the net with Reed and uh, that makes it 2-0 and going into another goal right now I think I should, yeah there we go West Car smashes it in and as you can see the ring of um, EA trolling whatever you want to call it is on the left and he rage quits on me basically so it is time to go into the final i believe i believe it is the final after and this game was really a funny game guys um i'm not going to tell you how it went even if i win or loss i can you know you guys are soon going to find out but it was a very very hard game the guy had like sahar which is five star skill and a guy called sinclair which is major major pace up top and skill um, Sinclair's not actually that skillful, I don't think, but you know, he's absolutely fantastic. So, it was a very, very hard game for me. He went 2 0 up, and I did come back in the end. And um, unfortunately, there was a na nasty little outcome at the end. But, guys, I, mean, I am coming to the end of this video. This has been a long video for me once again. I like making these long videos, so if you guys could leave a like and a comment. Uh, if this video could get 200 likes, maybe 200 likes, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I love it. I just love seeing that 200 like ting on the bottom or whatever you want to call it 200 like bar uh, my twitter links in the description if you guys could follow me uh 2000 followers soon hopefully that'd be absolutely amazing but obviously not be not before <clears throat> chicken in my throat again uh this is rossi guys before the chicken gets me and i'm out catch you later peace